the high voltage charging circuit so we have a oh crikey right in the way of myself here uh, it's not very well focused but there you go so it's what I've done is I've replaced this triac there is that there you go that triac's the onboard triac uh, there we go okay and that's a BT136 okay and what I've done oh, is as you can see I've replaced the onboard triac with an external triac which handles a much more current I don't know what it is I think it's 25 amps so this which handled uh, I don't know about 3 maybe and now it handles 25 so the circuit now can handle 25 amps and what I've done is I've connected it up to the mains plug, a bit of wiring and obviously my test leads which you've got to respect because they're <laughs> mains voltage and uh, it's in a through circuit and I've just simply connected it up to my dragon lamp basically <coughs> and uh, so if I now turn this over being very careful obviously because we've got mains voltages flying around here okay so this is the and you can switch it on and off you should be able to switch it off let's see so it's now off and on with the click and then you can vary the brightness see quite easily right now originally this was rated at 250 amps get them both in okay so originally that was 250 amps 250 watts sorry now that lamp down there is 500 watts so obviously it's handling the power of 500 watts and it should because uh, it's a um, this lamp is a uh, 500 watt lamp which is what is that it's about four amps isn't it four amps the original one would have been about an amp or something it's designed for a, just a low power light okay and what we're doing is we replaced it with a 25 amp part because we're going to use it for charging batteries so obviously if we have the ability to vary the power yes and just to give you an idea okay shot from the front blinding of course <coughs> and uh, yeah. okay so what we're going to do now because that's the lowest it goes okay which is going to be about I don't know 120 volts because it varies the voltage basically uh, that's 120 volts now instead of 240 which is what it's designed for so we're probably talking about a quarter of the power so what we're going to do now is insert this switch which has a diode or it will have so that we can do uh, half phase so that means we can reduce the voltage further to about 85 volts okay and then that means it'll go down even further and then effectively that's our charging circuit because we can vary the power and then we put that bridge rectifier in there to make it DC and uh, Bob's your uncle there you go, charger <laughs>